So what you doing? Making a shelf for all the components to sit on. Oh, for in the um the in the electric components controller and oh the stuff sitting on your desk. Yes. So we got six batteries to equal 72 volts so he can test the controller because you need 72 volts to test the controller, right? So we got some just regular batteries so he could start setting that up and testing it and all. Where the board's gonna go is in here. Okay, here's the platform that I built, I put on top of the motor, and this is where I'm gonna put all the electronics on top of, like the controller and uh, stuff like that. Okay, here's the, most of the components are pretty much all the electronic components that I need. Uh, this is the badass Zilla controller that I got. This is its hairball which controls this controller. This is a, a DC converter. This converts uh, will convert from my 144 pack uh, down to the 13 volts that I need to run my accessories. Um, this is a s relay, solid state relay, right there. And what this is for is this is for turning on my uh, heater, the heater core. Uh, this is a shank, and this is used for um, determining the uh, voltage, the amps, I'm sorry, the amps that are being used, being pulled. And this is a fuse, the main fuse. Uh, it's the one that will protect my system, all these. And this, this is the controller for turning the power on. Um, whenever you put 12 volts in here, these automatically shut and it makes a main contact. This is the main contact, or this is, makes main contact for the main power. So when you turn the key on, it'll activate this, which basically charges up the system and has it ready to go for output power to the motor. Um, this is my wires. This wire here, you see, this is for the Hall of uh, Fex pedal that I'm using. And this connects into the hairball interface. Um, let's see, this right here, this wire, this is going to be a temperature sensor uh, for keeping, I want to make sure I keep the temperature on here okay, so I have, I've got a temperature sen sensor just for the uh, uh, controller. And that's about it for the main uh, components. The only other things that I have to add on is, here's a storage thing. This is the stored vacuum for my brakes. And let me get the vacuum pump I got. Okay, this is the vacuum pump I got. It is off a old GM car. Um, can't remember the kind of car that needed a vacuum pump. It had such a small little motor, it didn't generate enough vacuum 
for the brake, so they had to have a um, add a vacuum pump onto the car. But this is definitely a nice uh, unit. Uh, it's well, well constructed. This is automotive constructed very, very well. So that should do the job for my vacuum, for my brakes. So now I just need to figure out how to get all this stuff arranged. <laughs> arranged, arranged. I'm going to have to read the manual a little bit more. Uh, I've already read it through it once. Uh, but I'll have to read through it again because there are a few wires. I believe these Hall Effect, you need to keep these away from the high voltage so there's no interference. Uh, I think it was at least a foot away from any uh, high voltage uh, wires. So, we'll see. I'll have to go through and... The only thing I have decided on is... This is my fuse box, the little fuse box I got. Uh, and I am going to mount it right here. Hang on. Right there. Can you see that? Yeah. I'm going to mount it right there. I think that's a good spot for it out of the way. Easy to get to. So, everything seems to be going great so far. Here's the batteries. I Six batteries I put in here so I can get up to 72 volts which is the minimum requirements for the controller to work so these are my test batteries uh, they're pretty much for testing only I will in the end I will have 144 volt system um, and this here is this is my switch that's the main power switch that's what I was using to give it power the other day. You just turn it on and off, on and off. 